queen of queen she me and today i am coming to you guys with a life update natural hair update just everything update um i have not given you guys like any i guess insight as to what's been going on with me so i figured i'll just come on here today chit chat a little bit hopefully i won't just be rambling on so i'm going to try to manage that to a minimum okay first i need to make sure that you guys are subscribed down below go ahead and subscribe so queen she me is a platform where women of color african-american women it doesn't matter any woman who wants to become a part of this community where we are all discovering the queen who is she within me and that's pretty much my goal and my mission here because i'm just like you guys i'm here trying to find my path my journey my own lane to be in i think we're all still discovering ourselves each and every day and mastery as well of just becoming a bigger and greater person than we were the day before so if this is your vibe if that is your flow then definitely make sure that you are subscribed down below okay you guys because i want you to come back so now that we have gotten that out the way let's get into the into this life update all right you guys so like i said this is a life update and so i actually have put down pretty much what I want to talk about and touch bases on really quickly because again I don't want to hold you guys up for too long so let's get right into it so the first thing I want to talk about is school if you guys are not aware um I did tell you guys a few months ago that I was going to be returning to school for cosmetology and luckily enough I have you know locked in secured my seat for the fall semester so yay your girl's gonna be going back to school for cosmetology, you guys, in the fall. So all I know is God's plan is that this is the direction he is wanting me to go into because let's just be real, I have already established a community here online pretty much based in natural hair. And I love it. I do I love the natural hair community. You guys know I'm pretty much low maintenance, you know. Um I'm not into a whole lot of styles and manipulation, you know, I'm just really and truly into the health and actually just trying to teach people how to actually properly care for their natural hair. That's really and truly what I am about in a natural hair community. So, you know, you have some of those influencers who are into, you know, how to style your hair and how to, you know, do all these, you know, extrinsic, you know, hairstyles and maybe the most simplistic ones. And see, I'm on the more basic simplistic level when it comes to actually styling your natural hair because I believe and lower manipulation and less manipulation it actually aids in the growth of your hair because you're not putting a lot of tension on your hair and you're not actually putting your hands in your hair all of the time so I'm just into that and I have come to find that that is my niche and that's what I really and truly am passionate about and that is okay so for me um it just spark and just lit a fire and I just decided to just go ahead and just start the process of actually getting into the program and lo and behold I have secured it so you girls going back to school and I'm excited because I want to continue to be able to educate you guys and I want to actually be properly educated as well on how to properly care for your hair and even if you are not natural, if you have relaxed hair or colored hair or, you know, whatever kind of hair you may have, I just want to be able to educate people on the proper care of it. Because I see here on my platform, for me especially, um, the natural hair for me is just really and truly um, a way for you to have the time to actually sit down and be with yourself. To actually get to know yourself a little bit more, to actually sit with yourself and to see yourself and to actually embrace what you are looking at. Because really and truly we just go about the day and how often or how frequent or if any time at all do we sit down to actually just look at ourselves. A lot of times I find that is why a lot of people have a self esteem or a self image issue and I even came to that conclusion as well. So for me I know what it is that I wanted to grow and what I what my vision is to build for Queen She Me and I just pray and ask that you guys just stay stick along for the ride um, I can really and truly feel it in my heart that it is going to be not only a blessing to me but to others and not just in the states but also across the world so that is what I am gearing towards you guys and I'm excited about that and I just wanted to share that with you guys and I hope you guys will stick with me along for the journey now as far as with school, if you guys are curious, I already have previous education as well. Um, I went to school initially for um, Office Administration and Management, which is pretty much like a receptionist, secretarial, executive assistant, you know, all the 
those kind of titles. The people that do a lot of the stuff behind the scenes that people don't even probably think about on a daily basis. So maybe you're wanting to plan a trip and you don't know how to plan it or you're needing to order something or you're needing to plan a meeting or you need to set up a teleconference or have bills paid or have payroll done. Like people don't think about that stuff behind the scenes when it comes to a job and a business. And it really is a key functioning part to actually running a business. So I'm actually grateful that I did take that education up and I really do enjoy doing that particular work still but what I'm wanting to do I'm wanting to channel that into my own business since I have already gotten the education I have gotten the experience and I love it I'm passionate about it and I'm wanting to position my own self why not go ahead and just take my knowledge and just channel it towards my other craft and what my passion is and what I've been nurturing pretty much for almost the last four years well actually technically going on five years so I just want to share that with you guys because a lot of times people are you know positioned to where they are forced to have the kind of you know create the job for yourself and that's pretty much what I'm having to do right now all right you guys so as far as school currently as well I almost forgot to mention this to you guys and I had to come back really quickly um I am presently in school as well I almost forgot because duh I'm in school right now so if you're wondering what I'm going to school for right now presently I'm going for business development and entrepreneurship so I'm learning a little bit more on the back end as to how to learn you know how to run your business how to actually market it how the proper um you know strategies you know behind the business and the ethics behind it as well and also to just a basic computer knowledge and everything like that but see so a lot of that stuff i already had prior education on because again i do have my aas and office administration and management so the plan and the goal is and i'm slowly coming to completion with the present one is i already have my office administration and management and then i want to get my business de business development and entrepreneurship and then we're going into the cosmetology i'm learning the proper education as to how to actually care for your hair and how to provide those services and also other services that i will be providing as well in the future so yes i do want to have my own standalone business like my own standalone salon and maybe like a little studio for education as well because again i want to provide women with the tools to actually care for their hair and to feel confident in doing that and how in feeling confident in doing that how it will also help them to grow and to nurture more aspects of themselves as well on a deeper level so y'all i'm excited and i'm just glad that i just have this vision and maybe i may be sharing too much but honestly and truly sharing is caring because maybe someone else out there is wanting to do the exact same thing that i'm presently doing so honey believe me you can do it if you already got previous education take that knowledge and that experience and funnel that into your own baby like I'm doing right now and then continue to nurture it put in the work put in the education continue to press forward and I guarantee you, you're going to see the fruition at the end when the time is right just as long as you keep doing the work you keep having your right intention behind it with the right positive love and support behind that you know baby as well it will flourish eventually if you're wanting to do a career change like even like how I'm doing do it honey don't be afraid because to change and to evolve is to grow and that is so beautiful don't ever look as you changing or shifting jobs or careers or nurturing a certain craft or talent is wrong or lame or boring or it's not going to have any kind of feasible means to it like no it is going to pay off and it does have a purpose as to why you were blessed to even have that talent and that craft to begin with so don't be afraid step out on faith and begin and begin to nurture your own baby so once I begin school, actually beginning August 20th, um, I'm going to try to figure out a schedule for you guys with content because honestly and truly, I'm going to be in school five days out the week and I do not want to neglect you guys because you are the reason as to why this journey and this path and this passion is even continuing on as of today so i'm going to figure out a schedule and i want you guys to actually let me know what days will work best for uploads for you guys because honestly and truly my schedule with schooling is pretty good so just comment down below and just let me know what days you feel are best for you guys because again you guys work you have family you have kids and i just want to be conscientious of you guys this time as well so let's get on to a schedule you guys definitely comment down below and let me know what days you guys would like for me to upload and actually to what times are best for you guys right. you guys so pretty much if i'm going to school full time that means that yes right now i'm not working um quite frankly i'm just going to be honest and i just have to say i just have to thank god for the amazing love and support that i have and the wisdom and the knowledge as to why this path is taking place and i'm just trying to be obedient sometimes we are again positioned 
put in certain positions to actually have to be forced to grow and to actually have to step out on faith a little bit further and I've always been a big believer of stepping out on faith and I've always have pretty much have walked blindly like I have taken a lot of leaps you guys and that have been blindly and by the grace of God it just went smoothly and I am still doing my YouTube so I guess that is my job you know YouTuber um you know but really and truly I want to expand out of that as well so that is really and truly why again I'm returning to school to further my education into properly teaching people how to care for their own hair and particularly natural hair now when it comes to specializing with natural hair I've been looking for natural hair like schools conferences you know meetings online courses like all that kind of stuff I'm a researcher you guys I like to look at stuff research and learn and I've just always been a big learner and so I've been doing a lot of research on that and I found a couple of places and I've actually found a conference that I'm going to be going to attend later on in the year. So I'm excited about that because they're going to really give a lot of depth and insight and a lot of demos. And it, they actually are going to be educating us. So I want to position myself to actually be a better, you know, service to you guys. And so that way you can have more confidence and actually care for your natural hair versus, you know, always in a sense feeling like you have to necessarily depend on, you know, going online to always have to watch a video or having to seek services and having to continue to pay for those services because you don't feel comfortable and actually caring for your hair and that is my mission I want you to be comfortable with taking care of your hair I want you to embrace it I want you to enjoy and love the process of it because natural hair should not be something where we feel like it's a job or it's like another task or another chore you should actually look at it as another extension of yourself and actually and how it actually has helped to look at yourself and the image that you have created for yourself and how you feel about yourself so that is very important to me and I hope that that came across to you guys and yeah so was doing that and pretty having to do a sacrifice on that is actually a little different for me because I'm actually used to just working I've always been working you guys have always had a job and you know this is just what it is so I'm sharing my story because I want it to just be you know an encourager you know for others who may be going through what I'm going through or maybe not exactly the exact same thing but maybe something similar to that extent you know because a lot of people feel shame as to when things hurt happen to them and initially I was because I had never had anything happen like this to me before and and well, I should say not to this extent, I should, not to this extent, I've always been able to just keep it moving. And I have been keeping it moving, but it's been a different kind of keeping it moving this go round. So I hope in me sharing this with you guys, you know, you won't be like, oh, girl, you tripping. Like, uh-uh, well, no. I want my story to be an encouragement for you guys to realize and understand that no matter what circumstances you may have or whatever the case may be, that you can still persist on and continue to just go on with your life and to continue to... Do what it is you know that you're supposed to be doing versus what it is you're thinking you're supposed to be doing because now I know what it is that I'm supposed to be doing. And that's the big difference this go around. Okay, you guys, so let's talk about natural hair since I'm still on this topic anyways. So with my natural hair, you guys, if you can tell, I really have not been doing much to it, to be honest. The most that I have been doing to it is just doing my wash day once a week um and pretty much doing a shampoo a rinse out conditioner and a deep conditioner and that's pretty much been it um i was slacking off on doing my pre-poo and hot oil treatments and at a particular time you guys know um if you go back a few videos back that i was actually having scalp issues it really and truly was just really just coming from me not having um done my hot oil treatments like i typically do or just doing my pre-poo treatments because even with doing a pre-poo treatment that oil is still going to you know slide down you know the strands of your hair towards your scalp so either way i had started neglecting that part of my regimen and so i just started incorporating that back into my routine and especially and particularly jamaican black castor oil so that's what i've been using and you guys know i love jamaican black castor oil for my loves over at jamaican mango and lime that is my bae that is my love and and they just really have some bomb as jbco okay as far as shedding um i don't have a lot of shedding and honestly and truly i've never always had a lot of shedding through my natural hair journey and even when i was relaxed i never had an issue with shedding it was always the normal amount and it even is to this day um even though i may have more hair now my hair is a lot longer and it has gotten a lot thicker um naturally you're going to start losing a little bit more hair because you have a lot more of it so again to me it's still the normal amount 
it's conducive to the length and the thickness of my hair if you guys are wondering so yes i don't have to worry about that i did do a recent trim i'm so happy that i did because my hair was really really needing a trim if you're wondering how to trim your natural hair i have a whole video here you can check it out because <laughs> you know a lot of naturalists like to blow dry their hair out and then trim their hair i'm not into that i don't need a particular style or shape for my natural hair i just really and truly want to have healthy hair and as long as it's thriving and thriving and healthy that's all that matters to me the video is going to be linked up above and down below for you guys to check out now like i said earlier i am a low manipulation girl i do not like a lot of a lot of manipulation done to my natural hair and because when i do a lot of manipulation it does in turn cause a lot of shedding so i noticed that and it's just best for me to just be low maintenance and for me low maintenance as well also means that i'm not always having to put my hands in my hair which means i'm not creating any additional breakage of my hair and i think that's why my hair is really true really and truly thrived over the last few years because that's just what I have simply done and I started noticing too and I think I'm going to start probably soon I want to go back into washing my hair two times a week because simply and truly my hair is a lot thicker now and I just noticed that it just tends to get a little bit more build up a lot more quicker now and it's not that I'm using more product on my hair I feel it's just that's just what it is and I just think I just really just need to amp up how many times I'm actually washing my hair throughout the week I do not co-wash I have not co-washed actually in a while and it's not that I don't want to co-wash it's just that the shampoo has just really been working and it's not one particular shampoo you know it's just pretty much I have just been using shampoos period and it has just really made a significant difference in my hair journey I just noticed that it actually does ensure that my scalp is getting cleansed because again a co-wash is really and truly just really to you know add moisture into your hair you know to keep it from being like necessarily dry or if you're trying to do like a midweek wash because you're not necessarily trying to strip your hair and do like a deep deep clean you're just trying to do like a quick clean but make sure you leave some moisture into your hair because again you don't want to have dry and brittle hair so that's really what a co-wash is all about as far as life you guys i'm still living in florida um and that's pretty much it i mean like when it comes to my life i'm not really like out there i don't put all my business out there um i don't hang out with a lot of people but i'm trying to change that um i really do i need to start trying to surround myself with people who pretty much are like me who are pretty much either an entrepreneur or going into entrepreneurship and, and is needing to learn or needing people who have like the same ideas or maybe just something to where they, they can help me on my journey and I can help them as well so you know I'm just really and truly wanting to start to foster more relationships to where you know I can have more in-person interaction because really and truly since I have not been working I don't really you know be around a lot of people you know so I'm like at home I'm filming and then like I'll do my homework and then like I might go up to the school but I'm not talking to anybody up there. I'm doing my own work, girl. So, yes, yeah, so I've noticed that. So, I'm trying to break out of that. I'm trying to break out of this seclusion mode that I've kind of submerged myself in. I've kind of just went to like a hermit mode. And maybe I needed to do that to probably just really start to just go in and to just detox a lot of stuff. You guys, I really hope you enjoyed my update. I really didn't have much to talk about except for, you know, like my school, you know, and if I'm working or not and what I'm doing with my YouTube channel, the direction that I'm wanting it to go in, the career that I'm wanting to go in for myself because I see a need for it and I know some people have kind of tapped into that part of the industry of wanting to actually and truly educate women of their hair but I want to do it more on a mental and spiritual level so that's really the direction that I am going towards and I'm excited about that and I just again I hope you guys stick around for the journey because it's gonna be fun it's already been an enjoyable ride so far so I love you guys if you need anything if you have any video requests or if you just have questions period or if you just want to say hey to your girl comment down below in the comment section I do get back to you guys I love to interact I know a lot of you guys by name now I just have been enjoying it and I just really and truly love the bond that we are fostering here in this community so definitely make sure that you are subscribed queen so that way you can be notified when i upload new content over here on my youtube channel and if you want more of me on the daily honey you can follow me over on instagram because that's really my favorite platform outside of youtube and stay connected with